my brain would be like, nobody's going to give a crap about this, but, you know, I also know that sharing my experiences has helped you guys, because you guys have told me that, which I think is awesome. I like that the negative experiences I've had can help other people. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? Howie Riddler. What are you doing? Really? You were trying to grab the toy? I'll give you an A for creativity. Howie Sassy. Sound better now that I'm at home. And... As you can tell, Amarel is not among us right now. Um, he is at the vet getting a, getting neutered. Um, so I took him and Sassy this morning to get him in for his neuter. Sassy needed shots, so got that done. And I won't be seeing little boy until tomorrow, which feels really weird because now I'm like, I won't have the fluff butt, but I'll have, of course, Sassy and Riddler. I think Riddler's confused. He's like, where is my brother? Yeah, do you know where he is? Do you know where he is? Hold on, the blanket is caught. Woo, you can have that. What do you think? Riddler, where's Emerald? Where'd he go? Do you even care? Don't think so. So, um, then I went and grabbed breakfast. Got my Ambien, so whoa, I can sleep. Um, and then, yeah, that's what the morning has. Um, don't really have much planned for today. So, just wanted to check in, tell you guys good morning, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, so can you tell where I am? The horrible world of Walmart, exactly. So, um, I just dropped my brother off at the dentist. He had a dentist appointment, and apparently I'm also picking him up. And he needed some stuff for this beef and broccoli thing he's doing tonight. So, got some beef, beef broth, not beef broth, whatever. Um, just looking for sesame seeds. That's always exciting. Um, da, 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 da. And then, playing the ones in the park to do Pokemon Go, so that's always fun. Not feeling good being in here, but whoever feels the greatest when they're in here. Hey guys! I don't have dogs to show you right now because they're downstairs. Woo! Um, I've just finished editing the vlog. It's getting saved to my computer and then it'll be uploaded to YouTube, so yay! Um, let's see. I ended up not going to Civitan Park. Um, after I got out of Walmart, my brother was like, hey, I'm done, so I went to get him. But, I did get a few things from Walmart. I got, of course, beef broth. I got a pint size hero blind bag thing for Tyler. And then for me, I got a Voltron Lion. Yay! I've been wanting the black one. And they finally had it. This thing's actually kind of hard to find. I've been seeing blue, red, and green mainly. It's hard to find the black one, so yay! And check this out. You can push his wings together and he does that. I promise I'm an adult, but, I mean, I love Ultron, so, yay. Um, my eye is itchy. Otherwise, I've just been on my phone, being so productive, clearly. Um, I'm starting to forget what I was going to talk to you guys about. Um, yeah, that's part of it. It's like, luckily my brain isn't as foggy, but today it is very, like, distracted, I guess. Not able to concentrate. Um, like, fine example, apparently my brain likes to act weird when I'm driving, which is the worst case scenario, clearly. But, um, 
So I was driving to the vet with MRL and Sassy in the car. They're both in the back seat. They're both sitting. They're behaved. I have all four windows down. I have the back windows down so that Sassy can stick her head out because she likes to do that. MRL doesn't really care to. Um, and then the rest of the windows were because otherwise, it like, the air pressure will make a pounding sound. So I guess it's kind of like equalizing the air pressure. And thinking about the dogs in the back and hearing all the sounds that were going on outside my car made it very difficult for me to drive. I somehow did, though. The thing that I don't like, though, that kind of concerns me is when I'm driving and I'm distracted like that, it's like I can see, obviously, the cars around me, but it's like my attention is not on them. It's kind of like my body is on autopilot. Like, it's like, okay, yeah, you stop. You don't hit a car, clearly. Oh, you know, there's a car there. But it's like I'm not paying attention. And I'm just like, brain, why you do this? And brain's like... Then, of course, I get to Walmart. Same thing happens again. But, of course, it's also Walmart's very... I think a lot of visual stimulation has been bothering me lately. Not really sure why. Um, could be an anxiety thing. I'm not sure. And just now, my brain is trying to recover from <laughs> just texting a friend and trying to work on the vlog. Um, of course, with texting, I like think a while about the responses I'm going to give. And... That took a lot of my mental energy. I couldn't focus on doing the vlog. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Brain was just like, nope, can't do it. And it couldn't really focus on any other task. So, I don't know why my brain is so spacey lately. Um, I don't know if I should be concerned about it. I kind of am, but I don't know really what I could do about that. So, I don't know. Brain, what is going on with you? Hey guys! So there's Riddler taking over my bed. Though so he's gonna have to move in a minute because it's bedtime. And then there's Miss Sassy Girl on her spot on the couch. Though she was on the bed for a little bit. I let her on there. I actually had to pick her up and put her on the bed though because she can't really jump from this height anymore. Because she got old lady hips. <clears throat> so... What has the day been? I've mainly caught up on YouTube videos and then watched a lot of the AKC Yukonuba National Championship from 2014. I like looking at all the dogs, of course. Although, of course, I'm particular to the Weimariner. And it's funny because I never thought that I would ever consider myself like a lover of wines. Like, it just was one of those breeds where it's not that I hate them. I just didn't think I would love them as much as I do and... I do. I mean, look at them. They are total... They're so sweet. Aren't you, boy? You're like, why are you vlogging me? I'm trying to sleep. Um, and I love how, like, <clears throat> you always hear, oh, they're so high energy, like, they won't just lay on the couch and look at you. They're so regal and royal and aristocratic. Well, one... Snuggling and sleeping are two of Riddler's favorite activities. And he is also the biggest derp I have met in my entire life. Though I love him. And, of course, Emerel, he's got a little more energy than Riddler. And is not as derpy, but he's sweet. And speaking of Emerel, I will be picking him up tomorrow morning. After 10 o'clock is where, what they said for me to do, so... Yay! Little boy will be coming home. <clears throat> and I probably confused you guys because I said something about how I pick him up in the afternoon and then that didn't happen. Okay, the reason I said that was because that was a protocol for one of the vet's offices I used to work at a while back. I think I said that earlier today. I don't remember. But at this vet, well, this was a vet I shadowed at a while ago, but we take our dogs there all the time. Their protocol is different. I mean, protocols will vary some with vet's offices. Um, and probably one of the most important things to always remember 
is if you're looking for a cheap spay or neuter please keep in mind that a lot of times the reason that they're cheaper is that they do not do post-op pain meds which especially for spays is pretty big because poor girl got her tummy cut open and you won't provide her meds there's some cheap places that do that so vets offices like you know vets offices they don't do that but places that say that they have cheap spays and neuters they will so keep that in mind i also had some pretty bad anxiety tonight it like it was over just a comment that somebody said and it wasn't even said at me like it was said to my mom and then she said it to me so basically it's a hearsay kind of thing but it's something that actually really hurt me so for the longest time anxiety was shooting up because I felt like I had to do something that I really didn't want to do because of the memories that it would bring back for me so I didn't so but I felt very guilty at the same time for not doing the thing um well I'll make it kind of simple it is a family cookout that is my ex's family so his family grew up with my mom forever and I love the family I really do but I haven't gone to their cookout for the past few years because of the ex being there and he wasn't a bad person please don't think that he was I don't know I feel like I might have confused somebody so he was he was always very nice he was not abusive in any sort of way because I feel like somebody got that confused he was a wonderful person um there were some things he definitely needed to work on but um a lot of the memories that I have are from him like I guess it was unintentional but he hardly talked to me for about four or five months and feeling like I was rejected really bothered me and of course that was also when my anxiety was starting to come up so being around him gives me back those memories and I don't want them I've purposely been avoiding him so that I can just repress them as much as I can though of course I still think about it from time to time because I mean it does affect my life and basically it was his grandmother speaking to my mom and I love his grandmother she is the best but basically she had said that you know they broke up they need to grow up and come to this cookout and that just hurt me because I'm like it's not even like it's because I don't want to deal with that anxiety because I know it will be there and of course she doesn't really understand the anxiety thing and I wanted to talk to my mom about it but then we both got busy and I'm just like Ugh. like I don't want to remember that I really don't um so I was feeling really guilty really anxious thoughts were going crazy I almost went back into old self-harm habits of mainly scratching and biting but luckily that did not happen I think um what mainly helped with that was watching adorable dogs and then of course Riddler came in my room and I got to snuggle with him and nothing makes you happier than your own dog so oh sorry if the camera seems shaky I'm kind of I'm trying to balance my tired arm with this arm I don't know if I can see it like that and I tend to just sway from side to side so um but yeah that has been my evening you know so much stuff that my brain would be like nobody's going to give a crap about this but you know I also know that sharing my experiences has helped you guys because you guys have told me that which I think is awesome I like that the negative experiences I've had can help other people. <laughs> that kind of sounds bad now. But, I mean, I'm just, that's how I am. I'm a big people pleaser. I love 
being able to help other people and if that means rehashing old memories or explaining my anxiety or my crazy thoughts then you know I'm all for it um, but thinking about anxiety and depression before I forget about it I need you guys to remember this is mental health awareness month and um so you guys know about I was I'm making a video called the faces of mental illness I have five video clips now including my own so four people have submitted to me thank you guys you know who you four are but I would love to have more clips I'd love to sh rep show more people and show what the mental illness community is like represent that we aren't the stigmas that people put upon us so remember guys if you are interested in submitting a video clip for the faces of mental illness project I need you to make a video less than a minute and 30 seconds and it has to say your name your age the worst thing about your mental illness and the best thing about your mental illness so for example my name is Raven I am 22 years old I have generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. The worst thing about my mental illness is feeling trapped. The best thing about my mental illness is being able to use it as an inspiration for other people. So that's all I would need in that. You don't have to do any special editing or anything. If you want to do just text, that's fine. If you want to not show your face and show like whatever else, that's fine too. Um, I have down below in the description the email that you send your clip to. It will be pressing the panic button at gmail.com. The last day I will accept video submissions are is May 19th, which is next Friday. So if you're still wanting to submit a video clip for the project, you got about two weeks. So go ahead and submit away, my friends. Um and now that I've got that reminder out, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... Um, uh, I'm blanking. I'm blanking on questions. So you know what? This is going to be another you guys ask me a question. So whatever question you've ever wanted to ask me about anything, put it in the comments below and I will answer that. Whether it's, it could be about mental illness, it could be about service dogs, it could be about, I don't know, do I like my orange juice with pulp or not? Answer, I don't like pulp in my orange juice. <laughs> so put your questions down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Riddler. Who gets to have the whole bed to himself. For just one night before baby brother comes home. And good night, my sassy girl.